This is the Lewis structure for KRF2, krypton difluoride. For KRF2, we have a total of 22 valence electrons. KR is the least electronegative. That'll go at the center, and we'll put the fluorines on either side. We have 22 valence electrons. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds, and then we'll go around the fluorines to fill their octets, or until we use 22 valence electrons. So we have four, six, and 16. Then back to the central krypton atom here, 16, 18, and we're left with a situation where we have 18 valence electrons used up, but we have a total of 22. So for these last four, we're going to have to put those right here on the central krypton. It'll have more than eight valence electrons. Since krypton is below period two, row two of the periodic table, it can hold more than eight valence electrons and have an expanded octet. So if the fluorines, their octets are fulfilled, and the krypton, that's okay, it has more than eight, but it can do that because of its expanded octet. So this is the Lewis structure for KRF2, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.